Hi foodies, welcome to my kitchen. This is Jenny here from Jenny's Walk. So foodies, I'm gonna make a lovely, quick and easy recipe here for you with this fish. Here I have some kingfish. I already went ahead, I, I soak it in milk, salt, wash it up with lime and lemon and season it, squeeze it out, let it dry, pat nice, and I'm just seasoning up with some lovely fish seasoning here. This is fried fish. Uh, it's a nice curry blend of spices and seasoning mix especially for fish when you want to fry so the escobiche really is i'm going to show you what the escobiche is is what we're going to add onto the fish i use this and i just use some garlic and pepper and i sprinkle a little oil onto it and give it a nice little smoothness i had it marinated for 10 minutes so now i'm going to take my fish my kingfish and i'm going to fry them really perfection fried to perfection which means really cooked Usually if you're making a curry or stew and you want to fry, you're just going to be giving it a little color. You wouldn't be worried about it inside because when you pop it into the liquid, the sauce or the gravy is going to finish cooking. However, it's not so with the escovitch. We have to cook it fully cooked to perfection. And fish don't cook too long, you know, it's just like, a, this is a very thick piece of fish as you can see. So this will be like maybe four to five minutes on each side on medium heat. So we're gonna get this cooking. So my dear foodies, don't forget to like and share my lovely video with your friends and family here at Jenny's Walk. So that oil is ready, so let's get frying now. Foodies, I'm gonna fry four pieces at a time. You don't have to use flour. Uh, just put them in my big old heavy pan. That's why I love this skillet pan. You see, it's moving really nice. Nobody gets stuck. So we're gonna leave this here to fry on five minutes on each side to a lovely golden brown. So here you go, foodies. This is my fish. It's really nice. I like the color. It's a little dark. So I just wanted to get a little more darker. And my other step, really dark. This is the color. Nice brown. This is what I'm going for. So I have like two minutes again, and I will acquire that lovely color that I'm looking for. Okay, foodies. So let's get that escovitch going. This is how I do my escovitch. Everybody cooks differently. So in my hot pot here, I'm just going to go with about a half a tablespoon full of mustard oil because I want a little heat in my escovitch and some grapeseed oil or olive oil whichever one you have I'm putting olive oil into this one so while we're waiting for the heat to come up what I'm going to be adding is my onions because you know olive oil you can't cook it on high heat so all you're doing is just softening your onions and the carrots just about a half a carrot. I'm just going to cut that up really nicely. I'm just going to give it a nice little Himalayan pink sauce, a good amount. That's my sauce. Nice little stir. There you go. That looks marvelous already. I'm going to add some fish sauce, eyeball, a half a tablespoon of fish sauce, and some apple cider vinegar. I'm going to put like four of them. You can use white vinegar if you don't have apple cider vinegar. And this is what my escovitch will look like for now. And I'm going to add white sugar. You want sweet and tangy. That is basically what. This is one tablespoon and a half of white sugar. It's a sweet and tangy taste. If you have whole peppers, you can chop some whole peppers up in there. You have pepper flakes. I'm going to be adding some pepper flakes to mine. Lovely, just like so. Now, now it smells so great. So don't forget to like and share this lovely video with your friends and family. Enjoy it to Jenny's Walk and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jenny's Walk. So here I'm going to add now my chili flakes. Chili flakes. And in here, my dear foodies, I have peppers. I have bell peppers, colored bell peppers. And I also have scallion that I just give them a nice julienne. So let me heat off. This is all done. That's it. You turn that heat and then everything just get a little soft in there. 
and this is what you're going to be adding on you just throw it you just pour this on top of your fish whether it be kingfish which i have today on the menu or you have porgies you have snapper fish bronzoni mm. oh i think it's need a little more a little more sugar so i'm gonna add some more sugar and some fish sauce it is not it's very tangy but it's not spicy so if you want some more spice in it you could add some more peppers you could even chop the green peppers the hot peppers just give chop some up in there and there you go if you want to add some more oil you go ahead lovely recipe here from jenny's walk don't forget to like and share this lovely recipe with your friends and family this can also be done overnight and you can put it into the refrigerator there you go, your Escovy sauce, Jenny style, my version. We don't have room for negative comments here. And if you wish to put your input in and give me some tips and ideas the way you do yours, we're all open to that. Just put it down in the comment below. So there you go, foodies, my lovely Escovich kingfish that we, we marinated. A nice little fry, lovely, beautiful color here, four minutes on each side. And we did that lovely Escovich flavor with a nice sauce with all those little picklings. So there you go. Delightful side dish or main course with some whatever you wish to enjoy it with. Another marvelous recipe here from Jenny's Walk. So thank you for joining me from my kitchen to your kitchen. Happy cooking.